Hey guys, welcome to Punk Rock Storytellers Unplugged. It is our 100th episode. Tonight, we have an absolute legend with us. He's from Armchair Martian. He's He was in Drag the River. He's in Scorpios with Joey Cape, Brian Wallstrom, and Chris Cresswell. Uh, and he does, and he has an awesome solo career going. This is my friend, John Snodgrass. Hey, John. Are we rolling? Am I on rolling. TV? Yes, you are. Woo! I love being on TV. So what am I supposed to do here again? I'm supposed to play some songs and then talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So behind after every song, you tell the story behind every song. Oh, okay. And then, is there, like, is just, there one in particular that you would like to hear? Let me see if I can uh, get this going, so I kind of have a monitor too, so I can hear you. Uh, you? Scorpios would be awesome. Uh oh. See, I'm I'm back in time. Yeah. You gotta get back in time. Little Huey Lewis in the news. So I'm going to turn this down and listen to you over there. My, my, my buddy Kevin's here, and he'll tell me about something. All right. Is there something somebody wants to hear? Let's see. Uh, from Australia. I don't know that song. From Australia. That could be a song I write tonight from Australia. Okay. Who knows what you Guy on left, your mic is too loud. Is that me? That was me. That's me. <laughs> oh, that's you. Okay. Killer. All right. So I'm just going to play some songs. I can't hear anybody now. Uh, can his microphone be on? I mean, can the microphone be on up there, though? So I can hear him talk to me a little bit? Is he just being silent? He's just being silent. Okay. <laughs> so here's a song someone wanted to hear. Here's the problem about these songs here that was that were asked. These are some sad songs. Uh, this first one, though, I wrote this. My friend Chad Rex, we had been on tour. We were in, uh, oh, Backstage. Here's a song called Backstage. This is about how you need to treat people the way you want to be treated. Uh, it doesn't matter, like, if you go into a club, it doesn't matter if you're, uh, like, super famous or whatever. Like, you're just a dude. We're all just, we're just people. So you got to treat the people that work there with some respect. You can't act like you're cooler than other people, right? I'm not sure if I if I remember this song, Mikey, but let's give it a shot. Working at the place, minimum wage, don't be a jerk. They don't know your name, but even if they did, they are working. We're all lucky to be here. Sometimes you must remind yourself you're lucky to be here. So be kind. Got strays backstage, one's a new rage, don't be a dick. Won't name names, sorry I to call you a dick. Working blue is not my stick. We're all in this together. Sometimes you must remind yourself that you. That song actually hasn't come out yet, so we probably shouldn't do that one. But I played that for my gear. He played the drums on it, and uh, I haven't announced the record's coming out yet. So fuck, uh, there you go. Is that cool? Okay, what's next? What else? Let's see. Oh boy. Backstage. Cat, hi, cat. Uh, okay. I wrote this song for little Chad, for Chad Rex. It's a sad one. Uh, I mean, I don't think he would mind that I said it was for him. I'll keep the names of the innocent quiet from now on, but I did write this for Chad Rex. We've been on tour. And uh, he's just a rad dude, and he really liked this girl. And uh, she broke up with him whenever he came home from tour. And I was heartbroken, heartbroken for him. And I was literally looking up flights to go and spend some time with him if he needed a buddy. But it turned out, uh, you know, he just needed to be alone. Good phone there in an hour. You'd have asked me to hide when there was a darkness that surrounded this. Way over there, I felt it. Please don't 
let it in again. Let it in again. You don't have to grow no older. You're the best of us, my friend. Unearthing still in blue, rearrange where there's no room. You pin wings there on her shoulders. The more you care, the worse you fare. And in this room that she had stolen. You're the best of us, my friend. And then Chad Price added a part to it. They're friends too. Hang on, hang on now. Someone will smile in a day or two. Think you could make it through this? Right. You need to break that up with a rocker, buddy. A rocker? Yeah. How about another song from my new record? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sure, that I haven't announced yet. There It'll come go. out sometime. I just want it to come out when I can go out and rock and roll. I just don't think it's time to go rock and roll yet, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to start a debate on when it's time to go rock and roll. It's always time to rock and roll. But, uh, so this is a song I wrote. I was recording with a friend of mine on another project. And uh, he told me this story, and it made me laugh. And you know how I just kind of make up songs sometimes? This one, this one made it, this one made it on a record. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, he was letting me know. Uh, oh, here we go. No, I don't know. Uh, oh, come on now. Okay. He's a renaissance man doing what he can to be simple. Renaissance man on the flights in the van. He doesn't read anymore. Cause he's written all the books in the store. He's a renaissance man, man. All right. There's another verse to it, but that's a little taste of it. Is that fun? You like renaissance man? Woo! Okay. Sounds a good time. Let's see what some of these people are saying. Oh, wait, I'll do another sad one. This isn't that sad. Uh, me and Chad Price came up with this uh, when we were walking down uh, to Lucky Joe's. Uh, we just had played some songs at home, and uh, he made a comment about being on the other side of okay. And then uh, we wrote it on a little bike ride. And uh, yeah. it's about drunk guilt. You know, when you go out, you're supposed to do something. You feel kind of hungover. Yeah. Like you're not giving someone 100%. Days like these, yeah. nights like those. Waking up when your evening close. On the other side of okay, when you're thinking that you should have stayed. I'm sorry for the things that I did and didn't say. I'm sorry on the way that I up and went away. On the other side of okay, when you're thinking that you should have stayed. The other side of the game. It was Halloween there. She said she'd go to fire. Yeah, I wish I'd have been there. Free.
on the other side of the Cocadia. Days like this, after nights like that, waking up in your party hat on the other side of the game. And you're thinking that you should have stayed Other side of okay Thinking that you should have stayed It's not too sad, the song I sing about, Woo sing about the party hat So this thing is telling me here, though Punk rock story, storytelling, punk rock Start live video Should I start one here, too? <laughs> Lay it down, buddy. No, this, this is everything's working the way it's supposed to be working. Yeah, we're good. I can't hear my buddy. Oh, is he not able to talk to me at the moment? He's not asking anything. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me. It's not he doesn't want to talk to you. He's just not talking to you. Why? What did not? You're telling a story. Okay. Let me see if I can see in these comments if there's something. Uh, I'm just looking for a fun song. Slick back wig hair. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, so this song. Uh, be right back. So this song, my daughter was born on Halloween. Uh, I guess it was two th 2011, and I was in uh, I was in Europe, and I was coming home three days later, and uh, it was a bummer. Because uh, I'm flying home on Halloween. I've told the story a lot. If you've heard it, just enjoy it again. Uh, so I'm coming home, and my idea was this first to get these wigs and just slick them back with like Fonzie shit. And uh, so I'm in the airport with the, with, the, with the slick back wig there. And uh, this is about me trying to get home in time. But I'm in the airport, like, I'm on the plane. Have you ever seen passenger shaming? I don't know, like I'm the dude with like the hair just draped over the back, just slick back, wig hair, flying on back home. Mm. Ah, here we go. Slick back, wig hair. I'm ashamed and scared I let you down. Got to sleep back with hair. But I'm coming home yeah. to my daughter and my wife. Coming home to my new life. I'm aware that I let you down, but I tried I, last night. They claim, they say it all the clock's back. Felt like I was from the future on my way back. Wasting time back across the water. We'll both arrive on this Halloween. I've done wrong. I've been alone some. I'm coming home to my daughter and my wife. Coming home to my new life. Wasting time back. Across the water, I made out the head. The place in between, wasting time back across the water. And this is it, they say, my don't work that way. I look forward to what we'll learn. I look forward to what we'll learn. I'm coming home. Sleep back, we can. I 
I'm on my way back. I won't let you down. Sleep back. We have this Halloween. I am really scared, but I'm coming home. Yeah. Wait. Right? Yeah. That, that was rad. Well, Getting warmed up. Jim Krieg goes something I hate. Me. Phaser. I hate music. Sometimes I don't. I don't remember how that song goes, but it's from Jimmy Krieg's own. <laughs> but with Jimmy Krieg's own, it's a new song now. Yeah. Jimmy Krieg's own. I hate music. Sometimes I don't. What is that song? It's, it's a replacement like, song, right? Yeah. It's got too many notes. Yeah. Jimmy funny. Krigo says no. You know what? Jimmy Krigo is listening, by the way. No shit. Game. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, give it your favorite. Hey, what's up, Jimmy Krigo? But uh, anyway, hey, remember, uh, yeah, this made me think of something. Excuse remember me, one time in Downey, California? Remember? We rolled up there in the. Uh, <laughs> girl that's bartending she's like what are you guys doing here? all right like, we're playing tonight mm -hmm. she says wow man i fucking hate live music yeah that was great <laughs> i mean it's just nice to come into a really welcoming club you know you're like hey uh we're playing tonight uh should we park a little back and stuff and she's like you playing tonight i hate live music i fucking hate live music well she's stumping a flashlight in her hand <laughs> john wayne john wayne okay so that oh, yeah, song is about I'll give it a shot. I didn't really go over the Houston Baker. Did you think I'd change my mind? No, you think I'd watch you sleep? My, my heart. Next time we'll do this song. No, maybe. I want to tell the story about it, though. Uh, so, this is true. Remember when all made the record and they had the stalker song? That's what this is. It's like, it's not really a stalker. Go. You know? No, you think I watched you sleep. Oh, here it goes. My heart never keep. Could you ever act your age? I'd act jealous. Make your week no more. Will we meet? I'm your heart asleep because I know what you need. I know you need your faith, so I'm feeling you alive. Who are you? Who am I? It's true, but you also forgot my favorite part of the song. I just want to get you back. It's a different song. So I can give you a wave. <laughs> no, not song. anymore. It's not. Um, I'm only waving to you out of the way. Said that the check in avoids the pain. I'm only lying to the ones who suggested ever I was missed. 
know that I came. All I know is you came too quickly, left the same. Couldn't believe it when you stayed. Just knew you was leaving soon. Just knew you were leaving soon. Now you are so anxious, hanging on the breaking news. Now the sun rolls down too soon. And I'm only staring at your eyes, dear. Think of the reason why my cry. I want to get you back so I can give you away. Head filled with ego, heart filled with fame. All I know is you came too quickly and left the same. Couldn't believe it when you stayed. Do you believe in soon? Do you believe in soon? Not you so anxious, hanging on the breaking news. Now the sun rolls down too soon, and I wonder, I only played three wrong. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Well done. Yeah. This is some deep mining. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, some of these songs. Oh, so, I, I mean, I like it. I like the challenge, but I hope, you know, people know. Uh, what, do we, what else we got here? Let's see. Oh, I love you too, Kenny. <laughs> Play something from that Paul Rucker hit machine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Okay, so the story behind this song, Brett, it's my friend Brett. Oh, so this is the wormwood that I got <laughs> that I got in uh, in Alberta. Thanks, Brett. I can't remember the good era. Uh, this is a song that Brett wants to hear. So the story about this is uh, there's a coat that I really like. Actually, there's really no story. It's just one of those dumb songs I made up on stage. <laughs> Okay, it goes like this. A long sleeve vest, it's the best, man. You put it on your chest, it's a long sleeve vest. A long sleeve vest, it's the best, but I confess. A long sleeve vest, it's a shirt. <laughs> yeah. So that's just me saying long sleeve vest because it's silly. Uh, and then in the end, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah. It's just, a, it's not a code. Yeah. Okay. So that's what that means. Uh, what else we got here? What else we got here, guys? Oh, buddy. Ha. Love you. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, these are some good buds. Uh, hang on. Oh, boy. Hmm. Some from armchair motion. Okay. Paul Rucker thing, Feats. <laughs> you want to play Feats? That's a Paul Rucker song. Yeah. That's all I said. Uh, I don't want to miss, I don't want to tell a story improperly. I think I know what it's about, but you know. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. I'm, gonna be a, I'm not going to tell a man's story. I got some stories. Just there. tell us a Paul Rucker play song. It. Uh, okay, I'll play a Paul Rucker song. You guys can ask him about it. And uh, as the song goes, uh, that was kind of a cop out with what I said. As I play it, I'll hopefully remember the words and then I'll tell you what it means. All right, here we go. Oh, 
on the Magic 8 Ball. That's what that is. I totally listen to the Magic 8 Ball. Moving back tomorrow. We got a door to call. Gonna miss this place. But I miss you most of all. I kept my shorts and shirts. But I'm not a little kid. Said you're coming back. Well, I'm sorry that you did. Even though I tried. I'm still alone. My decision to leave is always left to be unknown. In the mesh, in the eight balls, that's so long. Yeah, the message in the eight ball says I'm scared to be alone. And the message in the eight ball says so long. You know what? I actually have a great story about oh, great. The, uh, oh, about, about the weekend that that about the week that song was written. Okay. With Paul Rucker and I. Would you like to have a tea up there? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. I, I, I'll, it's I'll like down the hole. Oh, yeah. Is he in the shop? You gotta sit right next to him. Well, we can't do that. Yes, you can. Go on. Put on your masks. All right. All right. I'm going in, bitches. All right, then. <laughs> Wait a sec. Can I get a sip? Anyway. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Shit. Hey, Kevin, grab me one of those cold highlights, will you? It's right below the register. I got a good story though about okay. the week of that Paul Rucker wrote that song. Uh -huh. Anyway, we'd been hanging out a bunch. And anyway, it was like a Tuesday afternoon. You remember Paul had that little Dotson pickup? I do. He had a little, like, had bird. a little piece of carpet that yes. would go over the, the license plate. Yes. In case you actually it was that burnt orange, like, was that burnt orange color, like 1983 Dotson pickup that Rucker had, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was like Tuesday afternoon. Neither of us had anything to do, you know, and we're like, yeah, whatever. Let's go see the movies. And then I'm like, well, I got this ate the mushrooms. Like, let's let's split it, you know? So anyway, Rucker and I split this ate the mushrooms, and we went and saw Starship Troopers. Oh, yeah. Ah! I know this story. <laughs> and anyway. In true Rucker fashion, he went, he did not say a word the whole time. We just like, we went, and we're second. like, wait one second. You don't have to donate any money to me. I appreciate that, but everyone's having hard times. Don't worry about that. Please. Is this, Buy stuff for your family. Is yeah. this where I give my PayPal? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw the movies. Anyway, so long story short. Let's go, let's go to the movies. I give Paul, we, it, we both took and ate the mushrooms. So we went to the movies and Paul's like, don't, we don't eat it till the preview start. So, don't eat it till the preview start. Yeah, don't eat it till the preview start. Make sure so anyway, okay. Rucker and, and I sat there and we waited for the movie to start and we're like, ah, whatever. It's like, we had the cheap theater, no doubt. But anyway. Rucker and I both, since so pre-boot started, we both ate it, ate the mushrooms, and when the, <laughs> the <laughs> anyway, the movie started, it was dark by the time we got home, and Rucker never, never said another word the whole time, and we ate that, ate the mushrooms in the movie theater, we watched all the Starship Troopers, we walked to his car, we drove all the way home, and the only thing he said, yeah. Right when he pulled in the driveway, Rucker says, I've had a pretty weird day. Long story short, same week. Long story, story long. long. Long story long. <laughs> okay, I like it. That's cool. Long story long with Gary. Long story long with Gary. Long story long with Gary. He said it was going to be short. He says that he's short because he makes jokes about himself. So never get his own. Okay. Long story short with Gary and Dom. That was good. We can do that again. I'm just trying to make sure. I think we're good with the masks on, but I'm just trying to be safe, you know, trying to yeah. be, trying to be a good, uh, you know, a good example to people. Okay, what else should I do? Uh oh, 
So you have to say serve side seven. Dominoes. <laughs> Going on over. Fuck, Kevin, I'm trying to get my voicemail. Okay, what should I do? I don't know if I'm, okay, here we go. History with history. Okay, so the deal with history with history, that's a good one. Um, it's when I was living in, uh, I was in St. Louis after I graduated high school. And there was the great flood of 1993. And like, coffins were going backwards in the river. Uh, it was gnarly. It was just about a great flood. So that's what Saw it in St. Louis, St. Louis, almost in the sea. Look up the water where there's something, something, something. Who don't know the song? Shit, I don't know these songs. <laughs> so what I've been doing is I've been writing. Uh, ooh, is that Gary? What? WTF? He's getting ready for his next story. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> what was that thing I made up? Short story. Uh, Long story long. Long story. Oh, short story long. <laughs> short story long, long, long. Oh yeah, with Gary and Dom. Short story long, long, long. Gary and Dom said it'd be short. <laughs> Only he's short. I don't make the the short jokes, but he makes jokes about it. So when when we do the show. Uh, we should definitely do this show. Uh, tune in next week for Short Story Long. With Gary. And John. Short Story Long. long, long. With Gary and John. Gary and Dom and John. Okay, we're just working it out. I hope someone's recording this, you know, so I remember how it goes. Okay, so what am I doing now? I'm going to try to get serious here. Let me get serious here again. Let me look and see. History with history. I'm really sorry about that. Let me, let me see if I can try this. Yeah. I think I got it. I'll take it as far as I can. 1993, the river rose up like a sea. Saw it in St. Louis and New Orleans, Tennessee. Look up at the water, mark where it finally stopped. Then on the side, looks like New York City blocks. Off into the water, cattle on the hill, gas lamps like bobbers, fish it all gone ill. Then we ran backwards and we both stood still. I was 19 years old. All right. Something about the birds couldn't find a place to land. I don't remember, Brett. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you know what it's about now? Cool. Well, what else should I do? What do you think, Garen? You ready to talk some more? The crestfallen. Um, uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> I mean, that's a really gnarly one. I know, right? I'm not trying to bum anybody out, eh? Yeah. I want to do a fun song. Someone send me a fun song. Uh, what do I have that's fun? Oh, you guys are funny. Okay. Our list? Play one of the kids' songs. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm really positive about this. So when this thing started in March, I made a kid's record. And then it's not really a kid's record, but it's kind of, you know. Um, it's for the kids that we all are, you know, adults. So this one, it's from the idea of uh, if you're going to say something, it needs to be important that you say it. It needs to be truthful. It needs to be nice. Is it truthful, is it, is it crucial you said, said it, is it true and of use, will they say it's kind? Jumpy, jumpy, we, jumpy. 
Jumpy, jumpy, woo. Jumpy, jumpy, wee. Woo. Jumpy, jumpy, wee. Jumpy, jumpy, woo. Jumpy, jumpy, wee. Woo, too. Jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy, woo. Jumpy, jumpy, woo. Jumpy, jumpy, woo. Jumpy, jumpy. Hater, what's your name? Jumpy, jumpy. We are one in the same. Jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy. We are jumpy, jumpy. Jumpy, jumpy. Woo. Well, all right. Mm. Is it truthful? Is it crucial? You said it. Is it true? And abuse. Well, they say it's kind. That's all I'm close to me, Kids record I put out last month. It's called Jumpy Jumpy Wee and Woo Too. Also, Woo. <laughs> How'd you guys like that one? I feel like either my phone stopped or everyone doesn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's happened. I think you just seem to have lost your connection, buddy. Guys, I did two songs for Mikey Earth. I do love him. Let's see, maybe I should look at people's shares, right? Maybe you should play some songs that you want to jam. Well, no, I want to. The whole idea was, uh, well, here's another zone. Yeah, you should freak out and do your own jam. <clears throat> Oh, that, that's me looking at my, t looking at my phone. Okay. Just play some shit you need to practice. No, I still got some stuff here. So, so this song, it's, really, it's short. It always should have been short. I ain't excited. Like anyone. The pain in the tail. It's just hardly. It's just hard enough for me to care. Save for strangers. I don't recognize your heart. I ain't responding to the thing, the real thing. Ooh. I've grown up enough to know that I don't know this song either. It's a complicated song. Thanks for the support, guys. Yeah, yeah no, problem, no problem, buddy. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's some kick on stuff. Oh, no. Look oh, now. Swing with Jesus? No. Incredible hole. Oh, yeah. Okay, I mean. I'm just, I'm just reading out the request yeah, line. I right, see, I'm not seeing that. Wait, uh, don't look at me. I'm Bodies. So I didn't write this song, but he did write the words to the song. It's a good Tony story, too, because uh, Tony told me to send a I love TV show songs. And uh, my friend Tony Sly told me to send a, uh, a song. This is in the 90s, mid 90s. They did the Laverne and Shirley song. And, uh, and I did this. Because he's the whole, he's not a bad man, misunderstood. He does what he can, tries to be good. You understand that? Oh. He walks around, all around town with the bag. And a jacket, Mr. McGee always wants to find the hope. Incredible, oh, incredible, oh, incredible, oh, incredible. Oh, what's up? 
Alex. <laughs> so yeah, think about that song. So I sent the song in, and uh, they did not like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? right? You know. It's Woo! funny because you know, like it got the, buried. Uh, you know, it's funny. It's it like, got not released. It got. It ended up on the EP thing, right? Oh yeah. Well, we put it yeah, out, but it got not, buried. Right. Yeah. Well, you guys put it out. Well, obviously, it did very well after that. But <laughs> um, anyway, yes. long story short, the first movie I ever took Remington to, Remington to was that first Avengers movie, right? Like at the, he was three years old, and so we, anyway, we go to see the Avengers movie, and then we get home, and Ashley's it's like. Hey, Remington, what was your favorite part of the movie? And he goes, well, when Hulk smashed Loki. And she goes, what was your dad's favorite part of the movie? And he goes, Black Widow. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson, buddy. Oh, that's great. Well, that reminds me My of a song I wrote called Spider-Man, Wolfman, Other Man. And this is about how there's a lot of people out there. There's good guys and there's bad guys. So they say. I don't believe that. I think that's bullshit. I think everyone is just a person. You don't think there's bad guys? No. Do you want to hear my story or not? Oh, yeah. X-Man. You're about to be X'd on out of here. I'm just kidding. Jet. <laughs> no. Uh, here we go. Spider-Man, Wolfman, all are great men. Spider-Man, the Wolfman, all are great men. Thomas Jefferson, Jason Bateman. Weary, beardy, hard to contain, but we're all the same. We're all sometimes lame. That's all right. They're the kind that really bite. They're the kind that might fix your bite. Yeah, they're pretty bright. They're just like you. They've been known to steal the show. They're the guys you want to know. They might share their food or they might be rude. Spider-Man, Wolfman, all are great men. Thomas Jefferson, Jason Bateman. Thomas Jefferson, Jason Bateman, Corey Brandon, me. So there's no good guys or bad guys. Oh, there's people. Well, there's people that make bad decisions sometimes. I know you're dying to talk, buddy, but let me tell my story. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. No, I'm, come on over here and talk. No, I'm just saying. Marty going. Bird is going to destroy us all. That's all I'm saying. It's Marty Bird. You know Jason Bateman? I do. Before he was... Ah, he wants to sing about Ozark the TV ah. show, but they already got a pretty good song. Yeah. Dude. We, we is this, is this long story long? I mean, short story longer? I only have one thing to say. Hang on, let me do the fucking intro. Going into... Short story long. This is a different song. It's the... In credits to short story long. But Gary and Dom and John, short story long. Is that good? Yes. I well, can do this shit all day. I just am really fun. thankful I am not Marty Burke. That well, no fun. shit. <laughs> I think you're on the wrong podcast. Oh, you're, on, you're on Talking talking Ozark. Right. <laughs> you're supposed to be on that. I know. I mean, but let's I'm talk about Ozark thankful. for a while. That makes me feel good. That is good. I'm yeah. thankful I'm not Marty Burke. Me too. Or Jason Bateman. I love Jason Bateman. He's great. But so am I done here? I'm or? not okay. yeah. Marty Burke. Okay, cool. By the way. Yeah, I know Marty. My uh forty four minutes. A lot of my folks live down there. So I feel like I should be done. Can we communicate with Brad man? Yeah, he's here. I need some direction. <laughs> Generally speaking, we get yeah, that. I need some help. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Kinda. Sweet. How's it going? No, it was, it's did going good. It? That was. An, did, did, am I fired? Do I get the job? No. You, you got the job. You got the job. Cool. No, it was you awesome set, man. He told you. He I said to get rid of the ginger. I heard it. Yeah. 
More, more short story long. What's that? More short story long. More short story long. Okay. <laughs> short story long. Say the gong short story long. You know you want to talk. Talk it a little bit. Short story long. Short story long. Garen and John. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What should we do? Hey, would you go get me a straw, brother? Could you uh, do it? My girlfriend says we're one hundred percent hiring you. You're hired, John. Great. <laughs> I lived with Garen for a long time. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Nope, but this one Gary knows, and I'm going to let him come in and talk about it. Oh, yeah. I remember. We look here far away and feel you're near. Be loved, be left insane. Arms linked but hand in hand That sounds like fear Made in west of the bay Sickly beautiful thing Arms linked all in hand Thank you Arms linked that I can't stand Never want to settle down Whatever I know that you're far away dear I wish that you was near. We know that it's safer this way. That's a beautiful thing. That's a scientific beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot the music interview. <laughs> you remember that one? I'll look at all the stuff I can find. Cool. I'll be right back. You can uh, tell them your story real quick. All right. So I'm not an actual bartender, and uh, this is some stuff I found. Sit down. No, 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 no. Next to the guitar. Not one is John's. Just sit down in there, buddy. No, he hasn't told me to move. You're not in the shop unless you sit next to the guitar. These people want to see you. I'm lying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys check in uh, quarantine number 247. Okay. Now what? Do you like, do you like to do shots under your mask or over your mask? I guess through. I think the best way is to go Okay. Did you give me a shot? Yeah, I did. This is the only liquor I could find. Huh. This is there's like a hundred bottles of that. <laughs> <laughs> I should repeat that was actually the first liquor I found. <laughs> All right. So I feel like the show's gonna get canceled. Yeah, I feel like the, the end credits in post. We're gonna put the end credits here so people know it's about to wrap up. Is there? I have no communication with anyone. Is there one more song that I should do? Yeah, Jessica Suicide. Okay, we can do that. So this song, I've told this story many times. I wrote this at Steve Garcia's house with Steve Garcia during an episode of the Mary Tyler Moore Show. We wrote it during the commercials. Jessica suicide makes me all right. Just a crazy one on me. 
Strange world, dead girl, nights they are so you sing it. I must step in one man's hand. How much that can one man stand? Jessica suicide. Well, she never even hardly tried. No, why gave in to her demands? Death threats, regrets. Go ahead, I've heard all you said. Bitter always be gone away. Let her always be complaining. So scared to characterize. Always love to call die. Now I fully realize I just can't take steady surprise. This time she'll do it. Too late, my bus is leaving here. I don't care what you have planned. I don't care what you have planned. Short story long, short story long, let's get down, short story long, get down, short story long, short story long, let's get down, with Gary and Dom and John, short story long. Okay, so we got like three options. Woo! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that's it. Can we start yeah. off? We're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Woo! All right, cool. Oh yeah, can't wait to start the show. Yeah, maybe it. Good night. Sorry about Andy Richter. Andy. <laughs> fuck Andy. What did he do? <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is Andy, by the way? Andy, are you ah! sorry you did it? Put the fire out. Yeah, that is all I need. I want to talk to my buddy. All right, buddy. Can we turn this around then? Is there a way to turn that around? So I can and get his sound on? Minneapolis is dying. <laughs> Okay, can I hear him talking? Hey, buddy, you there, Brad? Hey, John. Hey, Brad. Hey, buddy. I'm, I'm, here I am. This has been the most entertaining episode. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I'm a, I'm a professional musician. Uh, it's, it's been I'm great. A like... I'm a professional at what I do. Everything I do is so pro. Thanks for having me. Set. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this volume up just a tiny bit, though. Hey, uh, Kevin, can we turn the volume up a tiny bit? Right. How do you do it? That's it. That's oh, that's it. All right. Hang on a second. Let me get my All right. Who's Stacy D? She's a friend of mine. She's in a band called Bad Cop, Bad Cop. Oh, yeah. She sang on my new record. I'm pretty stoked. She's a good friend of mine. Where is the port for this thing? Anyways, like I said, I'm a professional. <laughs> Where? Where's the headphone port? Is there headphones? They're no headphones. All right, so just scream at me. 
That'll be cool. <coughs> Sometimes this is a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, is the speaker even on this thing? Okay. No. Oh, wait. Here we go. All right. Let's get whisper. Let's get on whisper. Let's whisper. <laughs> All right. So you, you just put out a kid's record, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Um, when did you do that? Was it the beginning of quarantine or? Yeah, I started doing it in March. I mean, I had a, I had ideas for a couple of the songs, um, but I was like, ah, I just got to do something. I'm like, fuck, let's just do it. Kids record. I did uh, yeah. a song called Failure to Lunch. <laughs> called uh, uh, Mama Tired. Uh, I did uh, Jumpy Jumpy Wee and Woo. What you heard? Thank you, Kevin. Uh, that was a good one. Very good. Hmm. Might be a little too much. <laughs> Told you that we're pro. It just takes a while. <laughs> oh, pro on the go. Yeah. No, that's awesome. So, like, how how have you been handling this as both a because uh, you you own Surfside, right? My wife owns the Surfside. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, so, how have you how have you been handling it with? everything like because you I mean you're a musician and like you own a like bar or restaurant i mean we haven't opened yet i think everyone else has i think we might try to figure out some some way to do it i mean you know a lot of our friends places have and we're just kind of learning a little bit about you know how they handle it and you know trying to you know do the best that we can when we can everyone's in the same position you know so can't really be upset about anything you just got to go with it you know i mean just do the thing <laughs> you know do what you can do so yeah we're positive about it i'm not gonna lie i mean it's it's kind of i'm kind of ready for something to go down it was nice having a break but yeah i kind of had a break before the break because i was actually supposed to start touring on may 23rd so oh, all man. my touring my whole year was starting right you're gonna happen but again, I mean, there's no reason for me to, comp, you know, complain about it because all kinds of people have all kinds of problems. But it was, uh, it would have been better for me if this would have happened uh, mid-November. Yeah. Then I could have just quarantined with the with with the family, you know, like through the winter holidays, here, you know, in New Year's. <laughs> uh, but uh, I wasn't doing anything for the kind of January and February because I wanted to be home with the family. So that's what I'm saying. I like being home in the family. I wish it would have happened three months sooner or next November. Can we work on that? We can't work on it. <laughs> we'll make it we'll make it happen next quarantine part two. Just, uh, next quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. The sequel. Um so are people interested in this or did we lose everybody? No, I still got about like we only lost four people. So oh, okay. And that could just be a pop in and out. Like sometimes they just do that. No, it's fine. I just want, I'm not really, it's a good gauge on if I'm blowing it or not. Was it a fun now, show? I really couldn't hear you. I, I loved it. It was right, so good. entertaining. Oh, good. Um, man, I, mean, I, I, I feel like I'll dive into a song and I'll give it a shot. Anymore nowadays, though, I definitely try not to do that too much, but I'll do it every once in a while because sometimes I'll pull it off. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I'll just, I'll, I'll give it a good go because that's what people come to see. They'd like to see that. And if I screw it up, just like you can always listen to it on the CD, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a shot. But I definitely try to play the majority of songs that I actually know how to play. Unfortunately, all the songs that were suggested to me for this, I haven't played hardly any of those for a really, really, really long time. Uh, but I think I handled a couple of them pretty good. I was listening to you pretty heavily today, like at work, because like I drive a lot. So it's like, uh, I always try to listen to the guests every day and uh i was scorpios hit me rather hard like the song scorpios just because like i don't know like oh. if it was the harmonies or what but like at three or four in the morning this morning it was it just is one of those songs that hits you like no oh, cool yeah it's kind of a silly song it, it sounds kind of it, it's pretty it's pretty uh there aren't a lot of harmonies in there it's it's, kind, it's pretty brady bunch it's, yeah it's, it's, it's a little show tunes 
like we were doing it, like a musical or something. You know, it, it is a beautiful play. song. Yeah, it's beautifully right. done. Like, I, I liked it though, like a lot. Like, and now well, when, when just, we were going to do a tour together um, again, we, me and Joey and Tony and Brian, who's a, uh, we'd all done a tour together, and um, and then it was suggested again in an email. Like, hey, you want to do that tour again? And uh, it was from Sylvia, who was a booking agent from Destiny. And I was like, yeah, but we're going to make a wreck. We're going to call it Scorpios. I'm going to write a song called Scorpios right now. You know, <laughs> like, uh, I just thought it was funny because we had realized on the other tour, because it was around the same time, all these birthdays were popping up. I'm like, oh, wow, awesome. You know, because I love birthdays. I like baseball. I like birthdays. I like buddies. You know? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I like those things. And um, But birthdays are fun. And being on tour with your friends and getting to have a birthday thing, I don't know, it's pretty funny. Garen, uh, I'm like, hey, buddy. We used to always say uh, when he was our merch guy, because he always needed to, uh, you know, meet girls. He's kind of He's kind of shy. He didn't talk very much. So... We, we said every night that it was his birthday and people should go over and meet him <laughs> so he could make friends, you know? That's so funny. Anyways, that's what that was about. That was, our, that was supposed to be our birthday band. And it was going to be a, revol a revolving cast of characters all the time, you know? If you're ever in the Scorpios, you can always play in the Scorpios play. But then the idea was to have different buddies. I, like Chris actually, Creswell, he ended up playing with us. That's because he was already thought about, you know? It was like a thing. I actually share uh, Joey's Mike birthday. Bird is a Scorpio. Really? Oh, yeah. I always wanted him to play drums. Probably may happen someday. He'll do it. He'll, he'll agree to it. <laughs> He's the best. Yeah. He, I, I, I asked him, like, when he did the when he did his episode, it's like, what makes you decide on a project? I don't know. Just ask me. Like. <laughs> yeah, he's down to go. It's like that... Uh, be the first one on the bus and ready to ride. Uh, if we left for a show in Provo, first one on the bus and ready to ride. It's a, it's a Hank Williams song. It's a Hank Williams Jr. song about his father. And he's just talking awesome. about it. He's just always good to go. Hank Williams Sr. was always ready to play music and have a good time with his friends. Oh, yeah. I'm likening now that to, uh, to Mikey Yerk. If we left for a show in Provo, the first one the bus and that is totally Mikey. Yeah, I hope he's still watching. We'll we'll add that to the set list that we do someday. Oh wait, <laughs> I I heard nothing. Yeah, no, nobody heard anything. Forget what you heard it. Not? Um. So like, I forgot what I was gonna ask you. <laughs> I had so many questions going through my head today. I didn't write any of them down. It's okay. <laughs> um, no, like, um, so have you picked up any good records or anything lately? Uh, like, I don't listen to other people's music. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not true. No, I just haven't. Uh, I listen all the music that I listen to basically mostly it's, it's people that I've been able to travel with and, and tour with. And I listen to that stuff or when I'm able to, to go to a show like here, you know, at this bar, you know, like this is where I get turned on to a lot of things too. Uh, and I just haven't had the opportunity to hear anything. I was really happy that that homeless gospel choir record finally came out. I was able to listen to that for a good long time. That record's amazing. That was a great record. Like, yeah. I uh, was fortunate enough, like when he played to hear a lot of the new songs, it was around the same time. Then I had all three. Derek came on May 15th. Was I there? No, no. I, I think I saw, but you guys, yeah, because I saw you guys all at uh, X Ray in Cudahy. Oh, okay. In Milwaukee. Near Milwaukee. Yeah. Yeah, like. That was such a great show too. Like, I uh, didn't expect to end up talking to any of you guys after, and like, I talked to all of you. Awesome. 
Yeah, that was a fun night. Yeah, like um, Seth Rebner is asking if you're excited for Chad Price for episode 102. No. <laughs> no I'm kidding. Of course. Of course. He was, he was in Drag the River too, wasn't he? He was. Awesome. Um, no, like, this has just been so unreal. Like, this is our hundredth episode, so it's like, and like, I've been doing this every night after work practically. So, really, it's been, it, you know, yeah. I think that's really cool. Uh, I mean, you were doing this before the pandemic. Yeah, we started uh, as a live show, so we did our first live show February 29th. We we're booking the second one for later in March, and then all the bars in Wisconsin shut down. Right. So we were like. I, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. because I Walt Hambo go? I tried to get Walt on. Yeah? You should do Walt. Yeah. He'd be good. I, I I want him on. Like he, At the time, he, he was, was just like, he was trying to space it out a little when I asked him. Like, so that? I think. There we go. Hang on. I got an idea. This is, how you, this is how you do it. When you have an idea to do something, you just need to call the person. Right? There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see here. I really hope it picks up. Let's see here. Okay. We'll see what happens. We'll keep going. Hell yeah. We don't have to wait. No. Nah. Like, yeah, like, what would be so awesome? But yeah, we started like March 21st is when we did the first live stream episode and we've just been doing it since then every night we've only had two drops Ooh. Let's see what happens let's just see what happens let's just see how it goes oh the call fell <laughs> shoot oh wait no I, that's because I called Jimmy Islip and he's in the UK and he's in bed <laughs> I called the wrong dude so, yeah, sorry. That's uh. Who else do you want to get on the show? I like this idea. This is a good idea for for the show. It's called. Oh yeah. Yeah. Short story long, and then and then booking with John, and then at the end of that, then I then that's when we're. Oh no, I'm gonna save this for my podcast for my show. But <laughs> you you will always be a, a producer on the show because we made yes. it up on this show. Yeah. So short story uh, long, and then at the end, then. I call somebody on FaceTime and I try to book them for the next show. Is that a good idea? That's Is brilliant. this being recorded though? It's like for reals. Like, so I'll be able to see it again somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So it uh, goes up on Facebook live or it's on Facebook live now and on YouTube live. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it, it records as it goes. So, uh, so you can save it to the YouTube thing. Yep. Right? And then it's, all, it'll be all in the videos on the page on a uh, storytellers page as well. Okay. So yeah, we this we have go <laughs> we got a good meeting going on right now. I like it. We have we have all. So who else do you want on the show? Let's try the thing I'm talking about. Uh, Chris Cresswell will be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Keep talking. We'll give that a shot. Uh, Rihanna, who makes the flyers and she runs helps run the page and everything. My girlfriend says uh -huh. Brad and John. Brad and John, buddy comedy. Who? Me? You and me, buddy comedy. Oh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> we got Here this. We go. Oh, shoot. Why do I keep calling the wrong dudes? <sighs> Hang on. Yeah, Creswell. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. This is going to be a good bit. Did I make I a like song for this already? Here we go. Yeah, See what happens. Nobody wants to talk to me. Oh, wait, <laughs> is it going? Hey, buddy. Hey. Mr. Chris. Hi. Hang on a second. I got two things happening. Hang on. Wait, wait, what do I do here? Look at this. What? It's insane. 
Hang is on. it a call or is it a video? video? I'm calling you back. Hang on. Hmm. It's weird. I'm hanging up on you, but I'm going to call you back. Hang on. I think I just had too many good ideas and it just ceased. Fried the phone. It's only, it's still going. This is a brilliant bit. Still going like, again. I got to turn them off. I love them, but I got to, I got to stop it. I got to start it over. Here we go. Are people still interested in this? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> good. So here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. My ringer was down. Okay. Recent. Here we go. Take two. Oh, I hope this works. This will be great. Oh, and then Walt, Walt wrote me back. He was on the tour. Then what's up? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Walt messes chance. So I want to tell Walt, Walt Hammer <laughs> on Facebook. I hope this works. Uh, it's just FaceTime audio, so we got. Chris oh, it's Kresla. FaceTime audio. I'm hanging up again. Let me try one more time. With <laughs> FaceTime, FaceTime. <laughs> Hang on. I just keep hanging up on Krusty. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got to go to Bomber. What's up? Okay, FaceTime. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Here we go. What's up? You got it? No, I'm talking. Hang on, I'm doing I'm doing a multi thing. You know when I get the crazy ideas? Uh, are you there? So I wrote this song. Uh I'm uh, I'm doing one of those uh, interviews right now on the internet. Right? Damn, you're cutting out a lot, buddy. Damn it. If you can hear me. I'm driving right now, so I can't actually face FaceTime. Oh, I see. I'm driving. Yeah, so like it answered FaceTime, but I have a blank screen. Okay, so check this out, though. Here's the idea. I hear you now, though. What's Here, up? Here's the idea that I'm doing, though. So at the end of my new show called Short Story Long, where my friend Garen comes in and just, he's like, I got a short story for you. Oh, no, he's gone. <laughs> Anyways, that's all right. <laughs> short story long. <laughs> Booking. Uh, Okay, well, here we go. Oh, now he's. Oh, here we go. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Hey. So I'm doing this show, and it's a songwriter show where you talk about your songs, you know? Okay. And uh, so me and, and my buddy Garen's with me, and, and he's telling some stories because he's he lived at my house when the thing had happened. He goes, I got a short story. So then immediately, you know how I am. I think I wrote the theme song for it. It's like, short story long with Garen Dom and John. So at the end of the show, my new idea, and I'm really high right now, so that's why I'm doing that. But uh, <laughs> uh, the new idea is then at the end of the show, I'm going to call people like this, and I'm going to book them for the next show. So do you want to do this next Wednesday? Next Wednesday? Yeah. Or I don't know when. Can, Wednesday. Let's think, like, when are you good? Six o'clock this uh, this time. So, uh, are you in Toronto? Where are you I'm at again? Yeah, me. It's your it's it's your time zone, right? So this uh, started so at, this started at seven o'clock your time. I think they start at the same time mostly. Yeah, well, you're from Wisconsin, right? Like eight o'clock Wednesday poker game. Okay. It's like a standing. It's like a standing seat at a game. Well, I write the song for it. It's called Pre Poker. Next week. What day do you want to do it next week? Yeah, we'll work that out. But can, can we do it next week? Yeah. I'm yeah, looking at your eyes right now. We're I'm open. Uh, look, I'm looking in your eyes, buddy, saying, is, when next week can Chris Cresswell come on and do it at 7 o'clock? Any, any day but the 9th. I love you, buddy. Stone bones. <laughs> Be safe, my brother. Love you. So, anyways, that was cool. So he'll he'll be on the show sometime next week if you want him. Hell yeah, Is yeah. That a good bit. That's a good yeah. bit. That's a fantastic bit. Like that's a good way to get people on. I just made that up, and it happened. 
And I was like right. sending messages to the wrong people too at different times. Like, no. Anyways, are we done? Are we good? I oh, we're good. Man. The, I mean, John I'm talking to you. I just uh, I don't want to wear people out. What do we got? Like two people. Uh, twenty six footwork. Ooh. Oh, John, John, thank you so much for coming I'm on, man. I'm trying a phone call there. I'm sorry. Uh, I like you. Like you too, man. See you later. Thanks for having me. Have a good night, man. Whoever's watching this, enjoy seeing uh, Chad Price in a couple of days. Prost, amigo. Thank you, man. You're, thank you, man. You're the All best. Right. Thanks, bud. Uh, yeah, later.